If you want to lose weight, the most common advice you tend to hear is to ditch rice totally because eating rice can make you fat. Is rice really the culprit? Does rice deserve the bad rap it has been getting? Firstly, let's get some facts right. Rice is not fattening nor is it unhealthy. Have you ever asked yourself, if rice makes people fat, then why are majority of the people in East Asia slim despite eating rice on a daily basis? Rice is a staple diet to more than half of the world's population, and 90% of the world's rice comes from Asia. Rice is a rich source of carbohydrates and fiber which are essential to a balanced and nutritious diet. It is also low in fat and sugar, easily digestible, gluten-free and a good source of B vitamins. Personally, I used to be afraid of rice, but after getting to know the benefits and purpose, now I eat rice every single day. And if you have seen my transformation, rice has helped with my energy level, improve my workouts and even reduce my body fat. So yes, you can enjoy rice and still lose weight and maintain a healthy weight for life. I'm sure you're watching this video and wondering how can I include rice into my diet and lose weight. If you're a rice lover and don't want to give up on rice while losing weight, here's how you can do it. To manipulate your weight up or down, it comes down to one simple principle of energy balance. To lose weight, you have to create a negative energy balance. That means you should be burning more calories than what you're consuming. On the other hand, to gain weight, you have to create a positive energy balance. That means you should be consuming more than what you're burning. So the main reason you're gaining weight is not because of rice, but rather is the total amount of food you consume in a day. For example, if your body is burning 2,000 calories in a day, but you're consuming a total of 2,500 calories, that's when weight gain happens. In order to lose weight, you need to either reduce your food intake or increase your activity level or both. If you're unsure about how much you should eat in order to lose weight, then go to my channel and watch the video on learning to count your food portions and macros. Yes, you can eat rice, but you still need to practice portion control. If you continue to eat heaps of rice and blaming it all on rice because you're gaining weight, well, that's because you're not practicing proper portion control. So, how much should you be eating? If your goal is to lose weight, keep it to one to two small bowls a day. This here is a small bowl, okay? One small bowl of cooked rice has typically between 200 to 250 calories, depending on the type of rice you're using. And because rice is rich in carbohydrates, you can skip other forms of starchy cups in the meal in which you're having a serving of rice. One of the reasons that rice tend to be labeled as bad is because of its high glycemic index. That means that it is digested very quickly, which can cause sudden spikes in your blood sugar levels. As a result, this may leave you feeling hungry again and could lead to eating more calories later on. You can avoid this by pairing it with lots of vegetables as well as protein. Vegetables are high in fiber, which will help you to stay full for longer. Do remember that a balanced diet should still be half vegetables, quarter protein, and quarter starchy carbs, which in this case will be rice. As I've mentioned before, rice on its own can be healthy, but not when you turn it into a bowl of oily fried rice or flavoring it with butter, heavy cream, or ghee. That's going to add extra fats, sugar, and calories, which is not going to help with your waistline if you consume it regularly. Just like a piece of chicken breast, it is a whole healthy food, isn't it? But not when you deep fry it. So your cooking methods matter a lot. Choose to boil your rice plain. If you do want to flavor it, then be mindful of what and the amount you're using. This is specifically for endomorphs. If you're an endomorph, then you tend to be more insulin resistant and have a lower carbohydrate tolerance. You do better on higher protein and fat with lower carbs. 
So you have to be more strategic in planning when to eat rice. Because your body doesn't tolerate carbs very well, the best method is to avoid high or starchy carbs food outside of your workout window. Only consume starchy foods such as rice, whole grain breads, quinoa, corn, barley, yams or potatoes after exercising. Your body tolerates and processes carbohydrates most efficiently in the three-hour window post-workout. So, this is your best time to eat your starchier carbs. Eating carbs after exercise will replenish your glycogen stores, which you have used up during your workout. But remember that you still need to practice portion control. That also means, outside of the workout window, your diet should consist mainly of protein, healthy fats, and vegetables. To learn more about body types and the right exercises and food to eat, do watch my video on my YouTube channel on how to exercise and eat according to your body type. So the next question is, what type of rice should I eat? Can I eat white rice or do I only have to eat brown rice? Brown rice is considered to be healthier than white rice. And the main reason is that this rice is unpolished. Brown rice is definitely more nutritious compared to white rice. It is higher in fiber, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Saying that, however, nowadays, manufacturers do enrich white rice to replace the nutrients lost during processing. Most people can tolerate both brown and white rice. However, there are some people who find it harder to digest brown rice, including myself. Personally, I consume white rice more often, or I would mix both brown and white rice together. This makes it easier for my body to digest. There are lots of different types of rice out there, but the nutritional values between them wouldn't differ too much. If you ask me, what rice should I consume? My simple answer is to consume one that you enjoy and is easily available. I love rice. Rice is a grain that is easy to prepare and it's incredibly versatile as well. It can be cooked in a variety of ways. It is widely available and it's very cheap. I've created a lot of different rice recipes over the years, which you can watch on my YouTube channel. I've also put together a list of healthy rice recipes for you to try and start introducing rice in your diet. All the links will be in my description box below. Sustainable weight loss is a combination of regular exercise and a healthy diet. You don't have to give up your favorite or staple foods like rice while you're trying to lose weight. Practicing portion control and using healthier cooking methods to cook your meals are extremely important. Are you a rice lover? Do let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, if you find this video to be useful, then do give this video a thumbs up, share this on with your friends, and do also hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. Go onto my channel and check out a lot more home workout videos, healthy recipes, as well as nutritional tips. And I will see you next time. All the best. Don't be afraid of rice.